How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Study Hat and in today's lesson we'll be looking at 3D shape rotation, so let's get to it. Here is the first example. Which figure on the left has been rotated to make the new figure? As you can see we've got three figures on the left and one of them has been rotated to get this figure right here. We have to find that figure. Before we tackle the question, 3D shapes can be rotated in three planes, which is like a flat surface. The first one is 90 degrees towards you, top to bottom. The second way is 90 degrees left to right, or 90 degrees right to left. The last plane of rotation is 90 degrees anti-clockwise, going backwards, or 90 degrees clockwise going forwards. If you understand the different ways in which a 3D shape can be rotated, it makes visualising the answer easier for you. Going back to the question, let's start with figure A. It looks as though this has been rotated 90 degrees anti-clockwise to get to this figure. Everything would actually match up perfectly except for one little mistake. See if you can spot what is wrong with figure A. Well, it has an extra line right here and the figure on the right does not have this extra line. Yes, it's one of those subtle mistakes to look out for and that's something to keep in mind. Let's take a look at B. If it was rotated anti-clockwise again, it still wouldn't match, because this figure has an extra cube sitting on top of here. But if you take a look at B, it's missing that cube. That leaves us with C, which is the only option left. Just to double check, if C was rotated in the same way, it would match up. Reason being is it has that cube on the top, also the bigger cuboid at the back, and each line matches up perfectly. Before we go any further, let's take a look at this. What you need to find is the shape which has been rotated to make the figure in blue. If each figure is rotated, we can see that they all look pretty much the same. But remember those subtle differences we need to look out for. The first figure has an extra line on the side, which ends up adding an extra cube. Now the second figure doesn't seem to have any extra lines or missing cubes. Therefore, that is the correct answer. By taking a look at the third figure, you can also see it has an added cube on the side. Therefore, it can't be the correct answer. This confirms that the second figure is correct. The next question says, which figure on the left has been rotated to make the new figure? Starting off with A, let's take a look at which way it is being rotated. Well, it isn't going to be rotated sideways, it's being rotated top to bottom instead. Now, even though it is rotating downwards, that would mean that this cube here would now be positioned facing upwards. However, the figure we're looking at doesn't have that extra cube facing upwards so therefore A isn't the right answer. If you look at B, that is also being rotated top to bottom. A better way to think about it is imagine yourself standing up and now you are leaning on your back. Well, that is what is happening here. If B were to rotate backwards, then everything would align with the figure on the right. However, once again, it has an extra cube right here on the left, so therefore B is incorrect. Just confirming that C matches up. Let's take a look at the way it's being rotated. Once again, it's being rotated top to bottom, only this time it doesn't have an extra cube, and if we double check the lines, you'll see it matches up perfectly. Therefore, C is the correct answer. Now have a go at this question. Pause the video and I'll reveal the answer in a few seconds. The answer is B. Hopefully you noticed that it is being rotated anti-clockwise, so think of it as going to the left. If A was rotated to the left, you'll notice that this cube right here would end up being on the bottom, when really we need it to match the figure which has the cube on the top, which is why B actually matches up perfectly. That's it for today's lesson on 3D rotation. Don't forget to have a go at the quiz right after this and I'll talk to you in the next one.